Welcome to a new semester in the Electrical Engineering Undergraduate Labs. The EE Lab provides open lab hours for students that need extra time to finish or redo lab assignments. Open lab hours will be posted on the lab website. You can work on personal projects during open lab hours, but it must be approved by a lab staff member. Food and drinks are not permitted in the labs. Arrive on time with all the supplies you will need to complete the lab. Do not move or unplug any equipment from the lab benches. If you need an outlet, use the outlet under the bench worktop. It is critical that you understand all the test equipment in the lab before you attempt to use it. Quick start guides have been developed for the lab test equipment and are posted to the lab website. Read the guides before you use that particular equipment. You may use any of the lab computers. Just remember to save any files to a USB drive before you reboot the computer. All personal data is wiped from the computers on reboot. Remember to remove rings, necklaces, lanyards, or anything conductive before working on live circuits. When constructing a circuit, use the pre-cut jumper wires available in each lab. Keep the wires organized and as close to the breadboard as possible. This will help you troubleshoot any faults the circuit may have and reduce noise in your signals. Always build your circuit first without power applied. Measure the plus and minus terminals of your circuit with an ohm meter. If the resistance is very low, you may have a short circuit and need to troubleshoot your circuit. Turn on the power supply and set it to the desired voltage. Then turn off the supply and connect your circuit. When you turn on the power supply, watch closely for the overload LED. If it turns on, then you most likely have a short circuit and need to turn the power supply switch off immediately. If you suspect a cable is broken, please inform the lab staff and we'll fix or replace the cable. Do not just put it back in its holder for another group of students to troubleshoot. If you believe any test equipment is malfunctioning, report it to the GTA or lab staff. Before you can use the soldering equipment, you must complete the Solder One workshop. Before leaving the lab, be sure to sweep any wire trimmings from your work area. Return your cables to their proper hanger, turn off all equipment, place stools under the bench, and collect your personal belongings. So just leave the lab exactly as you found it.